All right, Larry Kruger here from the Pig and a Pickle Krug Show with a little 49er video. Well, it's really more of a Jimmy Garoppolo video. Make sure you check out Pig and a Pickle. Two locations, Emeryville and Corte de Madera. They're open seven days a week in Marin County from 11 a.m. to 8 p.m. And they're open Wednesday through Sunday in Emeryville. Pig and a Pickle, the best barbecue in all of Northern California. Well, Another story involving Jimmy Garoppolo, and man, if you rip Jimmy Garoppolo at the end of the year for not suiting up for the Niners in the playoffs, you probably owe Jimmy an apology. The Athletic is reporting that Garoppolo had foot surgery in March um, after signing with the Las Vegas Raiders, and he is now out indefinitely due to the foot surgery. Uh, he did not pass his physical. And if he's not right before the end of the season, the Raiders could pivot and go in a totally different direction altogether. Now, we'll talk about what their options are in a second, but the Raiders signed Jimmy G, but he failed his physical. And, um, you know, Jared, you know, you look at at, uh, at the end of the year, the 49ers, you know, a lot of people were asking the question, were the 49ers trying to push him to play at the end of the season uh, in the playoffs? You know, we didn't we didn't know if he could return or not, um, you know, and it was he was the 49ers did not put him on season ending IR. And I think at this point, you can at least speculate whether the Niners are trying to push him to play at the end of the season in the playoffs or at least be available. And now we know why he didn't want to return or why he opted not to return. Uh, Kyle Shanahan you know, abruptly at the end of the season said, you know, made it sound like Jimmy's gone. And it seemed like he was frustrated with Jimmy. Um, Jimmy definitely played his best football last year with the Niners. Started throwing the ball away when he needed to. I thought this was the best football I've ever seen him play in a 49er uniform. But this latest development kind of illustrates why Jimmy G never really played in the playoffs. Um, maybe the Niners should have put Jimmy on IR and replaced him with another quarterback. We can always debate that forever. God knows they could have used another quarterback at the end of the year, but they opted not to. And the Athletic is reporting that Jimmy G indeed had to have a foot surgery in March after signing with the with the Raiders. Of course, we all know they fractured that foot um, in December when a defensive lineman for the uh, Dolphins basically put his knee right there on the the break to the on, on the 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 right next to the ankle, right by the tibia, right there, a lot of pressure, and there was a broken bone. Um, and Brock Purdy came off the bench, and the rest was history for the 49ers. And yet the Niners never put Jimmy on the IR. Always kind of left the opportunity available and open if he was going to return. And then he opted not to return. And there were an awful lot of people uh, who ripped Jimmy G for, you know, not playing in the playoffs and not making himself available. And if you're one of those people, you owe Jimmy a major apology. Um, you know, here we are now. It's it's OTA time with the Raiders, and he's, you know, still hurt and not passing a physical. And the question is, it, did he try to rush back to play with the Niners at the end of the year? Um, Kyle Shanahan was adamant when he talked to the media in December that there was no ligament damage and, you know, there was a chance that Jimmy could return. Um, and now we're seeing that maybe Jimmy worked, tried to work his way back and rushed it um, and, and hurt himself further. Uh, maybe the, the original injury was just more severe than we thought, but he at this point is TBD as far as his future with the Las Vegas Raiders. Now the Raiders you know, the Raiders are an interesting are in an interesting spot right now. Um, the Raiders don't, you know, they're they basically the only option the the Raiders have is Jimmy G. I mean, uh Jared Stidham has moved on. Derek Carr is now a New Orleans Saint. They're no longer there in Las Vegas. In fact, the quarterback depth chart behind Jimmy G in Vegas is Aiden O'Connell, Brian Hoyer, and the former Cal Bear himself, Chase Garbers. So they're pretty naked at quarterback um, without Garoppolo. And yet, you know, they paid him a, 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 lot, a large sum of money. And I'm sure if he's not healthy, they would love to recoup that and, and not play him. So what is the future uh, at the Raider quarterback spot if Garoppolo is not healthy? So I was just looking at some of the offshore uh, posted odds from the sports books uh, on the Raiders next quarterback. 
And guess who's favored at two to one plus 200 if you want to go that direction um, to be the Raiders quarterback this year. Raiders owner, or at least part owner, Tom Brady. That's right. Brady is two to one to be the Raiders starting quarterback. Next on that list is Brian Hoyer, who's currently on the, the Raiders roster, as we just mentioned. Hoyer's sitting there at five to two. Uh, Matt Ryan, who is he retired? Is he not retired? He's taken a job with CBS Sports, uh, but he hasn't officially filed his retirement papers. He's listed at three to one. Would Matt Ryan try to play one more year in the NFL in Vegas? Uh, after that, you got Nick Foles at six to one. You got the rookie, Aiden O'Connell from Purdue at seven to one. Carson Wentz is still out there. Um, he's at 10 to one. Teddy Bridgewater at 12 to one. Uh, the commander's backup quarterback, Jacoby Brissett, is 14 to one. Joe Flacco, 20 to one. Cam Newton, who's still looking for work, 33 to one. Andrew Luck, who's in retirement, 50 to one. And it wouldn't be quarterback odds if you didn't have a Colin Kaepernick mention. Kaepernick is at 100 to one. Of course, the Raiders gave Kaepernick a workout last year. Uh, They were the only team to give Kaepernick a workout since he became a free agent back in 2017. Wouldn't that be a story if somehow Colin Kaepernick (laughs) returned to the NFL in Las Vegas? If I'm the Raiders, I'm going with Aiden O'Connell. I'm either I'm either I'm either waiting for Jimmy or I'm, you know, and, and maybe Jimmy can't go at the beginning of the year, but I wouldn't be afraid to go with the rookie Aiden O'Connell. Um, I like O'Connell a lot. Long Grove, Illinois. He you know had a full career with Purdue, left school after his redshirt senior year. So he's 6'3", he's 213 pounds, big pocket passer, nine and three quarters inch hands, big hands, um, and, you know, all Big Ten player, uh, very experienced. And, you know, the Raiders, if you look at his, his um, you know, O'Connell's resume from Purdue, played better in 2021 than he did in 2022. But we saw flashes last year. He's a pocket passer. He's got a big arm. He's not the most mobile guy inside or outside the pocket, but he does have a good arm. He does have experience playing under center. He's got experience playing in a pro-style system. Um, this is a guy that, you know, is a pocket, has a pocket presence kind of a nice little over-the-top delivery. Uh, they got a strong run game. This guy can do some play-action passing. He's got good timing off the play-action. He can throw with anticipation, pretty good accuracy, pretty good ball placement, especially between the hashes, very competitive player. So he's not a mobile guy. He's kind of slow. He's more of a pocket passer. Um, he's not going to, you know, he's, he didn't, didn't have a great deep ball percent completion percentage only completed roughly 30% of his deep throws in 2022, but you know, Aiden, O'Connell, they could do worse than Aiden O'Connell. Um, and if I were them, that would be the direction that I would go pocket passer, red shirt, senior, very experienced, doesn't cost you anything. Um, and then, you know, see if you can get Jimmy healthy and, 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 you know, I, to me going from Derek Carr to Jimmy Garoppolo, I think it's an upgrade because I think Jimmy Garoppolo is a better competitor than, uh, than Derek Carr ever was. Um, but that's a healthy Jimmy Garoppolo. Now, if, if he's not healthy, will the Raiders try to recoup some of that bonus? Will the Raiders try to get out from underneath the commitment in that contract? You know, will it cost Jimmy millions? Will he go wind up going elsewhere? These are all viable questions with we with you know a lot of a lot of unknown as far as how the Raiders will react to the fact that he can't pass a physical and he's not healthy healthy enough to play. Will he be healthy enough to play come July? Will he eventually pass a physical come July? And you know, and will they will they try to alter that contract? Will uh, will they honor it? You know, the terms. That's all to be determined. It's so interesting that Tom Brady is sitting there as a part owner of the Raiders um, in an outfit that has a new England GM, a new England head coach, um, a system that Tom Brady knows really, really well. In some ways, this could be an ideal situation for Tom Brady. You've got Michael Mayer, who's a phenomenal young tight end. They call him baby Gronk. (laughs) How about that? If Tom Brady finishes his career throwing to a tight end that they know as baby Gronk, Heck, maybe Gronk would come out of retirement as well and go play for the Raiders. You could have Gronk and baby Gronk 
altogether. Don't not to mention Devonte Adams in a really good running game. Um, so very interesting story coming out of Las Vegas. And it just, it's, um, it's interesting on so many fronts, you know, it's like one, there were an awful lot of people that were critical of Jimmy G for not, you know, suiting up in the playoffs for the 49ers. Now we got a pretty good indication of why he didn't. Um, and so those people probably owe Jimmy a huge apology. And then you get the Raiders who, you know, they called off the press conference, you know, and, and everybody was kind of wondering, ah, it's just nothing. It's just, they're going to push it off for a day or two. Now we're finding out that there was way more to that as well. Like Jimmy hasn't passed the physical yet. And now they've already moved off car. They've already moved off Jared Stidham and they don't really have a lot of great options internally. If they don't go with Tom Brady, because they've got Aiden O'Connell who's a rookie, Brian Hoyer, who's a third string quarterback, in my opinion, Chase Garbers, who's probably more of a practice squad guy, not an attack on Hoyer or Garbers, but that's just kind of how I see that. And you got Jimmy out indefinitely due to foot surgery. So, um, the Raiders are not in a mode to just, well, we'll just tank and throw out, throw away the season. I don't think they're in that mode. They got a lot of veteran players. They're eager to change their culture and turn things around. Jimmy was supposed to be a big part of that. And now it's all kind of in doubt. It's all kind of dangling by a thread. So I would say, you know, Tom Brady is always interesting. And since he owns the team, um, that's really interesting. Would he, would he wind up be the, being the first guy who owns the team that he plays for? I mean, that would be an unbelievable, unprecedented situation. And then you've got a lot of people that really like Aiden O'Connell as a prospect and think, you know what? O'Connell might be ready to step in and play. So we'll see. This is going to be very interesting to watch for sure. Uh, I'm sure there'll be plenty of people that point the finger at the 49ers and all the different uh, players that they've had that have had surgeries and the players approach versus the team's approach. And did the Niners try to force Jimmy onto the field quicker than he was able to return and so on and so forth. There's really nothing to substantiate any of that because we don't have all the data, but it is interesting that lots of people wanted Jimmy out there in in January And now we're getting a a glimpse into why that was never going to be a reality. And the Raiders are suddenly in a very interesting position with Tom Brady, with Jimmy Garoppolo, with Aiden O'Connell, and maybe others if they depend, if they decide to look around for their next uh, starting quarterback. So huge story involving the ex 49er quarterback. Hope you enjoyed our 49er video. Check out pig in a pickle, two locations, Emeryville and Corte Madera. And thanks to all of you guys for supporting the Krug show on YouTube.